I began a journey of really wanting to take care of myself and believing that I can. I think many people don't believe they can. They have all the information and the words, but that experience gave me a belief. I can heal myself. I know I can do it. I was given a great gift of belief in myself. I was in corporate America, disconnected from me and what I really want. And through brain education, I found self-love and hope. My name is Brian Huff, and I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. I actually got started with brain education through a body and brain center. I didn't really know it at the time, I think fully, but I really need to release a lot of stress inside. I had just moved down from New York, which was a big move, uh, to Atlanta. I was in New York City doing 9-11, and whether you know it or not, you really hold a lot of trauma doing something so huge, actually. And I don't really think I ever took the time or even know how, knew how to release. I didn't even know what trauma was, honestly. So looking back, I think I moved to really save myself in terms of letting myself breathe out. So when I moved, I was really looking for a new lifestyle, a way to just slow down, slow down. Uh, and one day, in the dry cleaners, I saw this brochure for body and brain. Manage your energy, release stress, perfect. This is totally what I need. So I went, and it was so cool. It was like this, like a, like a dojo, which is so cool, because I love Asian culture and sci-fi too. So it seems like the perfect place, and the instructor was just so caring and loving. And the way she guided me, I could see that even though I thought I was physically healthy, that um, I was only going for stress release. I was holding so much tension inside of my body that that stress had manifested into a physical tension. I couldn't even touch my toes when I bent over. So from her guidance, I could really see I need help. So that was the beginning of my journey. But from that first day, 15 years ago, I think, I've been going ever since. Brain education has had a huge impact on my life in, in many ways actually. Physically, I was so tight. When I sat on the floor to do meditation, my, my knees are like this, like a V. Uh, and I hated meditation because I was so uncomfortable sitting on the floor. I had to go up against the wall um, for my back. It was so much back pain. But my instructor just kept encouraging me to just do your best, just do your best. And I did. And after a time, my hips, like my knees came down. This is like a uh, course of one year. <laughs> it didn't happen that quickly. But I was able to really loosen a lot. But what was the most profound change for me is that uh, I was an allergy and asthma sufferer for many, 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 many years since childhood. And an asthmatic person has a lot of fear around breathing. And I used to have panic attacks whenever I felt um, my breaths getting short. So about maybe a year into training, I had one of those panic attacks. But I had been training so much on breathing that instinctively I just started doing breathing exercises. And I felt my body just calm down my breath get deeper. And from that moment, I felt fear. I've had my whole life. I finally, finally found a weapon against this huge fear. You can't explain the joy that an asthmatic has when they find that, that freedom from that fear. So from that freedom, a whole world opened up. If I can do that, then there's so many things inside I know I can, I can conquer. I can resolve is a better word, uh, with love. So from that, I began a journey of really wanting to take care of myself and believing that I can. I think many people don't believe they can. They have all the information and the words, but that experience gave me a belief. I can heal myself. I know I can do it. That physical healing really was profound in my life, which led to Maybe this is a spiritual awakening. 
that I'm in control of my life. I was given a great gift of belief in myself. My favorite brain education exercise is intestine exercises. When you first do it, it seems so strange and why am I doing this, pumping in and, in and out of my abdomen, but it's so good. <laughs> I was born and raised in the South and we are master suppressors of emotion, like everything with a smile. So all this anxiety is building up <laughs> in my intestines and especially my liver. So I know when I do intestinal exercises, there is circulation happening. I can see it. Not just that, when I do intestinal exercises, actually I, I see my blood pressure drops. And that for me, there's a history of high blood pressure in my family. So I need to do this consistently to help manage that in a natural way. Manage the foundation first. And when you manage the foundation well, then you can start building up and other things. But the intestinal exercises is a foundation exercises exercise that's the best. If you want to know more about intestinal exercises and how to do it, check out this video. Knowing what I know now, if I could go back in time and talk to the old me before I started brain education, I would say love yourself more. Trust yourself more. You follow all these outside things. But when you come inside, the answer is there. And you feel it. You feel it. I can't say it's effortless, but even discomfort and pain, you get through it because it's for you. I was in corporate America, disconnected from me and what I really want. And through brain education, I found self-love and hope.